Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am beyond excited to explore something new and fun because I'm going to take you with me through my process for bringing a character to life. We'll be designing an original character starting from scratch using only these three prompts. Male, head, librarian. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Step one of the design process is character ideation. It's basically about knowing the character better. With the prompts in mind, I brainstorm and develop new ideas related to the character to establish a clear vision of who he is, what he looks like, and how he fits into the narrative or world he inhabits. What comes to my mind, for example, when I think about a head librarian is someone patient, meticulous, probably slightly introverted, but also wise and approachable, and certainly with a deep love for books. I picture him wearing classic and timeless outfits at work, such as tailored trousers and blazers, button-down shirts, vests, everything with primarily muted colors and earthy tones. He could be carrying a leather briefcase to work containing his notebook and pens, for example, a planner with his schedule, meetings and appointments, maybe an eyeglasses case to keep his glasses safe when he's not using them, and also a set of keys or a badge, maybe, to open the different sections of the library. His love for books could stem from a combination of his personal experiences and qualities and his family background. Maybe he grew up in a household where education and learning were highly valued. And one of his fondest memories from his childhood could be reading stories around the fireplace with his parents and his siblings every Sunday evening, for example. So what I do in this phase is basically think of my character inside and out to have a clearer vision of his key attributes, personality traits, background and goals and motivations. While coming up with ideas for my character, I like to arrange them all in different key groups to form an organized structure that I like to call a character map. This map basically helps me form a more comprehensive view of the character and also better develop his attributes as I come up with new ideas. Once I'm done with the map, it's time for research. I look for inspiration online and gather references of different types to get a better understanding of how to visually communicate each and every concept that I have collected in my character map. I usually like to use Pinterest as a search engine for my images, but for this video I'm using Unsplash that offers copyright-free images. Then once I download my images, I arrange them using an app called Pure Ref to create a sort of vision board that follows the structure of my character map. In this phase, looking for both reference images, for example, for clothing and accessories, and existing character designs for inspiration style-wise, is essential to form the design of the character and inspire even more ideas. With my research done, it's time to explore different visual ideas and concepts for my character. I start with a few silhouette sketches to explore the shapes and proportions of our male head librarian experimenting with different body shapes, hairstyles and outfits. This phase is all about creativity and exploration and the goal is to generate loose thumbnails using clear and readable shapes that make the character recognizable even in simple forms. Once I come up with around 5 to 10 silhouettes, usually I then select my favorite ones and also mix some parts of different silhouettes if needed and begin the sketching phase. This is where I sketch out rough concepts to capture the essence of my character, exploring different looks, outfits and also different variations for the same silhouette. The important thing is to not be perfectionistic in this stage, but instead put down anything that comes to mind without worrying 
too much about the details. Once I have a few strong concepts for my rough sketches, I move on to the refinement phase. I take the most promising sketches and develop them further, adding details and making adjustments to enhance the character's design. This is where the character really starts to come to life. Clothes and accessories take up an important role in character design, so it's essential to explore appropriate attires and accessories that reflect the character's personality, background, world they live in and that are strictly connected to their job or hobby and their role in the story. Next, let's talk color palettes. In this phase, I like to test out a few different combinations of color palettes to see which one works best. For example, earthy tones might suggest wisdom and stability, while a splash of color can add a touch of vibrancy and intrigue. And now we've reached the final stage of the character design. After picking a color palette for the character, the final step is to render him in a pose that captures his essence and then create a polished color version of him. This is where I finalize the colors and apply some finishing touches, focusing on the details and ensuring that the character's personality really shines through. I clean up the lines, add shading and lighting, and make sure that every detail is polished. And here is the final design. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my process for designing a character starting from a few prompts and hopefully that you learned something along the way. Thank you so so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!